first commandment is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. <clears throat> Second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. In the, uh, I mean, the, the, the parable of the Good Samaritan was told by Jesus in response to the question of a lawyer who is a lawyer, somebody, I, I forgot who, but the, the question was, who is my neighbor? And Jesus, by telling the parable, told him that your neighbor is not your fellow Jew. Understand that. Neighbor is different from brother in many instances in the Bible. The Israelites tended to love their brother more than their neighbor. The neighbor is the alien among them. In fact, uh, if you would recall, the reason the first deacons were ordained was because there was, there was a, a bias on the part of the Jews. The... <clears throat> Those who were not full, full-blooded, full-fledged Jews, ang tawag sa kanila mga Hellenistic Jews, parang medyo parang Samaritan din, kasi uh, Jews na na ano na uh, na inculturated, uh, inculturated with uh, the Greek uh, customs and traditions. Ang ginagawa nila noon, inuuna yung mga kapatid nilang Hudyo at hindi hindi prioritize yung iba. That, that that was uh, that was the the reason the deacons were were ordained right so that there would be equality in the mind of the jew before it was like that uh, love god ma devout sila but it's like it was a uh, this in descending order love god and then your neighbor and then maybe i mean your brother and then maybe your neighbor God, your fellow Jew, and then probably the foreigner. But many of them, many of them found it hard to love their neighbor, the Gentiles. In fact, not only found it difficult to love them, they hated them. If you really recall, in the, when Jesus came back to Nazareth for his homecoming, he spoke in the synagogue of Nazareth and he spoke about God loving Gentiles a widow in Zarephath and Naaman a general in the army of their enemy anong nangyari aba pinersecute si Jesus papatayin nga siya itutulak sa bangin eh because they could not they could not understand that they would could that was unacceptable to them Ano pa? Yung <clears throat> parable of the Good Samaritan. Let's go back to it. The, the, in the story, there was a priest, and there was a Levite who ignored the dying, uh, the dying man. They would not touch him. It wasn't identified whether it was a Jew or a Gentile. But they thought godliness was, no, as long as I go to and fulfill my obligations at the temple and maintaining my, keeping myself clean by not touching the wounded or the dead, I'm okay with God. But God is saying, no, you cannot do that. You cannot love God without loving your neighbor. In fact, John said, as the patriarch told us, John was uh, the, the disciple who heard the heartbeat of God. He said, if we love God and hate our neighbor, we're deceived. We lie. We're a liar. We lie even to ourselves. Because we cannot, we cannot love God and not love our neighbor as ourselves. Although we do that. We do that. It's possible. St. Paul said, it's possible for us to, to be good prophets and heal the sick and and uh, have faith as to remove mountains. And we can give our possessions 
away. But it's possible to do those things and yet have not love for our neighbor. May we understand this. In fact, this is our, uh, this is our mission is to know God, meaning have a, a, a loving relationship with Him, and make Him known to our neighbors, whoever they are. Make Him known because it is a blessing, it is eternal life to know God, and we would not want our neighbors left out. Meaning, it's an expression of our love for our neighbor to make God known to them. To share his blessings of eternal life to them. May we understand that it's it's uh, the two commandments are not uh, you know first one is more important than the others than the other, but they are like one one cohesive whole, so that we cannot say that we love God if we don't love our neighbor. It's sad that many of us Christians are deceived, like the Levite and the, and the priest in the story of the Good Samaritan. We think, we think that we're devout, we're righteous, if we are just faithful in church, in serving God. And it's okay that we, we ignore the, the needs of others and the commandment for us to love our neighbor as well. May we understand that. Again, hear what the Lord Jesus Christ saith. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The first and great commandment. But the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There's no other commandment greater than these. And it is the way, the way it is in the kingdom of our God.